What's up, everybody? Back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be making. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I just realized I don't have a YouTuber intro, so I thought I'd try one, but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work for me. But yeah, in any case, uh, it's July this month, and you know, you know what that means. We all know what that means. That's right. It's art fight. We yay! Right, guys, art fight. We all love art fight. You've never heard of art fight. Yeah, okay, that's that's honestly fair. Basically, Artfight is a website where for one month out of the year, every user on the site is split into two teams, and the goal is to get more points than the other team by the end of the month. Uh, to get points, you attack the other team by drawing their characters. So what I'm drawing today is an attack for Electric Tempest on Artfight. I'll put their links uh, to that as well as their Instagram in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, and I've already posted this to Artfight, and it was worth 138.75 points. And I know realistically a single person isn't going to make much of a difference, because you're not going to get a significant enough amount of points to really turn the tides one way or the other. Because at any given point, there's about 10,000 furries on either side pumping out art, like, 20 drawings a day like it's nobody's business and you just have to hope that the most tryhard ones end up on your side that year <laughs> um but that's not to say that it's not still fun to participate you get just smaller victories you know for instance uh dunking on your friends by doing more attacks than they do or getting more points and you may be thinking hey wait a minute this just sounds like you're doing a bunch of art for random people for free and wasting your time and effort. And so that I say, okay, yeah, but money isn't the only motivator in the world. Like, you get reward, I mean, with the points, obviously, but it also just feels nice when you can tell somebody, like, really likes a drawing you made of their character. And you also get free art, too. I mean, provided you have good characters up on the site that people want to draw. <laughs> um, I also find this easier than commissions because I have a hard time figuring out how I would set prices when my work varies so greatly like some illustrations of mine are done in less than an hour and some take like several days and now you might be thinking but Robbie why don't you just set up a guide with a range of prices depending on what level of finish the client is looking for and to that I I say that's actually a pretty reasonable idea I should probably get around to that I've been meaning to open commissions to get some more income for a while now not that I don't have an income I am employed uh, as an animator if you can believe that I've also made $700 off my uh, penis in the car door animation which is interesting since the total I've gotten from YouTube since my channel was monetized is 800 and $92, so <laughs> most of that is penis money. I don't know why that video from nine months ago just suddenly gained like a million and a half views out of nowhere, but um, I'm glad people think it's funny. I realize I've been doing a lot of talking, but not a lot of talking about the drawing, so I should probably do some of that too. Um. Yeah, basically they're lesbians who are not quite dating, but definitely have a crush on each other. So I thought this kind of pose would be fitting. I've since been informed by some friends that this is wildly inappropriate and lewd, so I apologize. Uh, minors, avert your eyes. And yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with uh, this drawing, and I think it turned out well. I hope nobody will uh, call the cops on me for using the default Clip Studio paint. Um, buildings brush for the background but i've said it before and i'll say it again my name is robbie it's simply in my nature to rob and yeah i also used all the leaf brushes and tree brushes and uh i also learned how to use uh, screen tones um other than that i think this drawing is pretty standard it's just uh lines flats cell shading and then a little extra detail here and there but yeah i think it gets the point across and I think the drawing was looking already pretty good at this point, but uh, it really comes together in that last like 10% where I, you know, start adding like lighting effects and blurring and uh, gradient maps and all that and just kind of trying to tie the colors together and uh, get it looking good. 
And yeah, the only thing I don't like about this drawing is I didn't erase this stupid white outline from the bottom of this one stupid leg, and I, I, it was already posted on Art5 by the time I noticed. I fixed it now for when I post it on Instagram and Twitter or whatever, but uh, this will be one of my greatest shames. It'll haunt me until my dying days. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I have for you guys. Um, if you're an artist with some free time this month and uh, you like drawing different characters, maybe check out Art Fight. There's not too much time left, but uh, you could still hop in whenever. I'm on Team Bloom if you want to attack me. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber.